Hello everyone, my name is Bo Yan Chen. I'm currently a PhD student from Europe University, Canada. In this video, I'm going to present our paper studying the use of Java logging utilities in the wild. This paper is co-authored with my supervisor, Professor Jamin Jiang. First of all, what is software logging? Software logging is the practice that developers instrument logging code into the source code to record runtime behavior. This code snippet shows such an example. Depends on whether the authentication is successful, two lines of logging code will be executed during runtime. Compared to console printing, such as system.out, here we use a logging utility from a popular uh, logging library, log4j. It provides multiple thread support so that the logs are not interleaved with each other. It also provides a timestamp and filtering mechanism such as the verbosity level to filter logs. Hence, during runtime, the following log messages will be generated. Other than log4j, there are many other logging utilities in the wild, and new logging utilities are constantly being introduced recently, such as Google's Flogger. We have studied many existing studies on logging code, and they are mainly focused on three dimensions, where to log, what to log, and how to log. Where to log is about deciding the appropriate logging points. What to log is about to provide sufficient information. And how to log is to develop and maintain high quality of logging code. Many of these papers have been published in top venues of computer system and software engineering field, such as OSDI and ICSI. However, only two papers have discussed about logging utilities which are about logging library migration and log configuration. Hence, we feel it is very necessary to study the use of logging utilities in the wild. To get a better idea of the current practice, we conduct a quantitative study first. We first extract GitHub projects from GHTorrent, which is a very popular uh, database. We set a couple of filtering criteria, such as a number of stars, programming language, and if this project is forked or not. After this filtering, we have 25,611 projects. Then we fil further filter them by checking if this project ever used LUs, or whether it's a trivial project such as tutorial project or a very small uh, size. Then we check the import statements by doing the static analysis and count the total number of LUs being used. In the end, we have extracted 3,856 LUs being used. These LUs can be further classified into external LUs and internal LUs. External LUs means that the logging utility is directly imported from third-party library, such as log4j, as we see before. Internal LUs are logging utilities that are implemented inside the project. In the end, we have 866 external LUs and 2,990 internal LUs. This figure shows a, a summary of our results. We classify the projects based on their size, so we have small, medium, large, and very large projects. The y-axis shows the number of LUs used in each size of the project. Each of the subplot is a box plot, which contains 25 percentile, medium, 75 percentile, and so on. We can see clearly that most of the smaller projects only use one LU. For medium projects, more than 50% of the projects have more than one LU. The number will be even bigger in large and very large projects. So, it is very clear that the use of LUs is more complex as the size of the projects increases. This uh, scenario is very counterintuitive and motivates us to dig deeper and find out the rationale. So we conduct a qualitative study on both open source and industry projects. For open source projects, we study the used external LUs, internal LUs, and the rationale behind multiple LUs. For industrial projects, we conduct interviews on 13 developers from many internet companies, such as Facebook and Alibaba. Due to time constraint, 
I will only discuss the use of external LUs next. The table here shows the four rationale behind the use of external LUs. They are general purpose, LU interaction, internationalization, and modularization. In the second column, we show the percentage of external LUs for each rationale. In the third column, we show the percentage of projects that use these LUs. In the last column, we show a few examples. Due to time constraint, I will only go into details about LU interaction and internationalization. As general purpose logging, you guys have already seen such example in log4j. And for modularization, people mainly implemented using a spec-oriented programming mechanism. Here, we show a code snippet for LU interaction. This code snippet is from the project Bitcoin Wallet. The Bitcoin Wallet uses OKHTP3 for building HTTP connections. In order to have a better idea of what is going on inside OKHTP3, we need to use a logging interceptor, an LU provided by OKHTP3. In this way, we get a better observability of the third-party library. Next, we show example uh, that external LUs being used for internationalization. This code snippet is from Hibernate, a popular ORM framework being widely used around the world. We first define log API in the core message logger.java through annotations to for the levels and also the static text and dynamic contents. In practice, we directly use this method to invoke logging. If we want to translate the log message into other languages, we only need to define a separate configuration files. In this example, we translate the English log messages to Chinese ones. Among all the four rationales, LU interaction accounts for the majority of the case, which is 83%. So, tools for better management and configuration for LUs from third-party libraries are definitely needed. So, in summary, we first define what is software logging and show a real example. Then, we check the existing studies on logging code and find out that only a few studies have touched discussion of logging utility. Next, we conduct a quantitative study and find out the use of LUs is more complex as size of projects increase. Last, we conduct a qualitative study of both open source and industry projects. We also provide a replication package Feel free to download it and play around with it.